Our lesson for today is all about illustrating the right triangle congruence theorem. So if you are interested for this lesson, watch this video. Triangle congruence may be applied using right triangles. The parts of the triangle, like legs, acute angles, and hypotenuse, can be paired so that the two right triangles are congruent. In this lesson, you will be using the parts of the right triangles to show that the two triangles are congruent aside from SAS, ASA, and SSS congruence postulates. For our first activity, we have what we call correspond. We're going to give the two corresponding congruent parts of the right triangles on the slide and we have an example to provide you as a guide in, in answering this activity. So before that, let's recall the parts of the right triangle. We have two legs for our right triangle. And we have two acute angles. And the longest side of a, of a right triangle is what we call the hypotenuse. The congruent parts on this slide, for our first pair of congruent leg, we have line segment LA is congruent to line segment YO. And for our second pair of congruent leg or congruent side of our right triangle, we have line segment LV is congruent to line segment YU. Now, you may start here. I will give you one minute to answer the activity on your answer sheet or on your sheet of paper. Time's up. Now, let's answer or let's check your answer. For number one, let's identify the congruent parts. For the legs, we have line segment LV is congruent to line segment YU. And for the acute angles, we have angle V is congruent to angle U. Next, for number 2, the congruent parts for the hypotenuse, we have line segment AV is congruent to line segment OU. And for the legs, we have line segment LV is congruent to line segment YU. And for number 3, the congruent parts, the hypotenuse, is line segment AV is congruent to line segment OU. And for the acute angles, we have angle V is congruent to angle U. The now, the different theorems, or we're going to discuss the different theorems on triangle congruence for right triangles. The congruence theorem for right triangles. For number one, 
we have what we call the LL congruence theorem or the leg and leg. Based on the definition, if the legs of one right triangle are congruent to the legs of another right triangle, then the triangles are congruent. For our example, if line segment LA is congruent to line segment YO and line segment LV is congruent to line segment YU, then the triangle LAV is congruent to triangle YOU by LL congruence theorem. Next, now for number 2, we have what we call the LA congruence theorem or the leg and acute angle. Based on the definition, if a leg and an acute angle of one triangle are congruent to a leg and an acute angle of another right triangle, then the triangles are congruent. Now, for our example, if line segment LV is congruent to line segment YU and angle V is congruent to angle U, then triangle LAV is congruent to triangle YOU by LA congruence theorem. Next, for number 3, we have what we call the HL congruence theorem or the hypotenuse and leg. Based on the definition, if the hypotenuse and a leg of one right triangle are congruent to the corresponding hypotenuse and a leg of another triangle, then the triangles are congruent. For our example, if line segment AV is congruent to line segment OU, which is our hypotenuse, and line segment LV is congruent to line segment YU, which is our marked leg, then triangle LAV is congruent to triangle YOU by HL congruence theorem. Next, for number 4, we have what we call the HA congruence theorem by the hypotenuse acute angle. Based on the definition, if the hypotenuse and an acute angle of one right triangle are congruent to the corresponding hypotenuse and an acute angle of another right triangle, then the triangles are congruent. Now, for our example, if line segment AV is congruent to line segment OU, which is our mark hypotenuse or our hypotenuse, and angle V is congruent to angle U, which is our given angle, then the triangle LAV is congruent to triangle YOU by HA congruence theorem. So now, I hope you know how to illustrate the right triangle congruence theorem. You may now, uh, you may now start answer the activities on your module.